Good morning, good morning, everyone. All right, we are about to get into this live. I'm super excited. Um, our guest, Lindsay Brantley, Brantley, will be coming on in a few minutes. Um, just before we get started or before I bring her in, um, my name is Mimi Irvin. I am the host of Gotston Style Chat. And basically, it's um, conversations with different women who are doing creative things, um, as well as having a STEM background. So I am fashion, fitness, and STEM fashion. I started out as an influencer, just showing how I dressed outside the box in corporate America. Um, fitness, um, got into fitness and got my pro card. And I love exercise for those that follow me on my personal page. And of course, STEM is um, having a BS in electrical engineering. Southern University is where I attended. So definitely love the creative aspect of having STEM and um, embracing your creativity, which is exactly what is um, Got STEM is about. It's an organization that encourages women and young girls to embrace their intellect and be unapologetically bold, smart, and creative all through STEM. So I am getting ready to bring in Lindsay. Let's see if I uh, can see where she is. Okay. So she should be coming on in a few minutes. I will give a disclaimer. I am in pain. <laughs> As I said, I'm fashion, fitness, and still, I pulled a muscle in my back. And so if you see me squirm, uh, I'm, it's not, I'm not being rude. I am literally in pain so anyway just wanted to bring that up so she should be coming on in a few minutes it says it's connecting um i hope that you all are having a great saturday it's a beautiful day here in houston aside from being hot so we'll just wait till she i'm waiting for her Lindsay, I see that you're on, but I don't see you on the on the line. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I can't see you. I One second, guys. You you all know how technical difficulties work. <laughs> I see Dr. Richmond on. Go live, okay. All right. So you should be see. okay. I should be connecting here in a few minutes. I still, are you on? Yeah. Can, <laughs> can anyone see uh, Lindsay on your end? Cause I don't see you. Um, I can, I, can you hear me? I can hear you fine. Girl, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I can try from a different device. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> can anyone in the audience? Okay, they said they can't see you, Lindsay. So, um, no, can't see her. Okay, let me let me try from a different device. Hold on. You know, technology. Yes, you guys know. So, um. Just while we're waiting on Lindsay to, to come on. Okay, let me, let me try from a different device. Hold on. Okay. Technology. She should be coming on in a few. But I will say, because we're going to talk about um, some of Lindsay's products, and I'm actually wearing... Okay, let's see. It says go live. I am. Okay. There we go. All right. Yay. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Um, I was telling the, the viewers that uh, I pulled a muscle. <laughs> I was what being, happened? I was being, it was doing too much trying to, you know, keep, keep the exercise going. And anyway, uh, my back, my, it's like in my shoulder. And I just got to give props, props to Dr. Uh, Alexis, because she she is a chiropractor and she yeah, actually worked. Yeah, she worked it out yesterday, but it's still, oh my gosh, 
Anyway, so if I if I flinch, I'm not I'm not being rude to you. <laughs> Girl, look, like, you're in pain. I get it. I get it. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to thank you for um, coming on and sharing a little bit of your story. Um, of course, you know ab <laughs> yeah, about um, how you got into creating your brand and as well as your background. So for the viewers, let's just um, just tell them a little bit about yourself first, you know, your degree, where you went to school, and then we'll dive into the, the details of Camille Elise. Sure, sure. <laughs> so I'm Lindsay Brantley. I have a degree in civil engineering from Lamar University. Um, gosh, it's been 12 years. So I graduated 12 years ago, um, started in oil and gas, and mm. then some kind of way on this winding road, got into medical aesthetics. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so Lindsay and I are colleagues. We both worked for the same uh, employer. I was there 15 years. How, how long were you? Ten. ten, ten, ten. So we would have our sidebar conversations on our create, <laughs> our creative <laughs> aspects. So, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> can you hear me, Lizzie? Uh huh. Yeah, okay. 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 So you mentioned um, oil and gas. You mentioned uh, civil engineering. So, how did you? get into Camilla Lee's like how did that journey even start well I mean honestly it started when I was laid off you know um, oil and gas is always up and down so I got laid off and when I couldn't find another job in oil and gas I went to work for a spa mm -hmm. and of course people thought I was crazy you know but I studied under um, an anesthesiologist and then I also worked for a holistic spa and worked for a business owner that, you know, had created her own products, her own services, worked for both of them, and then decided to go back into corporate America. But mm -hmm. I wanted to have something of my own. I still loved aesthetics. And because I have um, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, I um, was struggling with skin sensitivities around it. And so I wanted to create something that was natural so people could, you know, shave and wax and not have all these bumps and stuff, everything I was experiencing. I went to the drawing board. I, I was picking different ingredients <laughs> out, trying stuff out, trying it on my clients, my friends, right. you know, until I get the, until I got the formulas right. And I think that having that engineering background, that research, that analytical, okay, this did this and this didn't do that. Okay, that product didn't work. Mm -hmm. So having that background just kind of made it easier for me to, you know, try some different things out. And I launched the products in 2016. Right. No, and that's key because that's what I, I, you know, I was talking with a young lady who reached out to me via LinkedIn. And she mm -hmm. was, you know, asking, you know, how do you uh, link or embrace your creativity, especially in a, a male-dominated industry that we're in, right. such as engineering and still, um, you know, be able to do things that you like as far as your passion. But the key thing here is still having that STEM background, right? Yes. And because, I mean, it, it builds so many different foundations. Yes. Um, and, as, you know, like you said, analytical thinking, um, just learning how to pivot. I mean, it's, it's all well-rounded. Yeah. Yeah. Financial aspects of it, you know. It is um, supply chain. You know, supply chain. When yeah. you get your products and getting ingredients, how do you talk to people that are not in the same country as you? You know, mm -hmm. so all of that kind of plays a role. Right, right. Um, so you had your product, but then you even started going into like getting grants and working outside it with different resources. Like, so you have individuals who. Um, are wanting to start a business or, you know, young ladies who are in school who um, are wanting to go down this route but don't know how. You've gotten a lot of different grants <laughs> pitched to different, you know, different, um, um, what, what, I, I'm losing my train of thought, investors. Yes. Uh, so, like, how, <laughs> how did you even do that? And, well, so, and you're working and all this kind of stuff. Yes, um, I, I will say that I was ambitious. I wanted it, so the research helped. And in the city of Houston, you know, and even in this state, there are so many, like, startup 
funds. And I was just looking, I was like, I need money and I don't want it to all be mine, right? That right. comes to it. So uh, I, I spent a lot of time just looking for different um, organizations. And in 2016, I won my first pitch competition. Um, and it, actually, by the way, it's the city of Houston's liftoff competition. They just started applications again this week. So y'all hear that? Okay. You know, opportunity to win $10,000. <laughs> But um, I, I went and I did that program and then I looked for more. I was like, if this is a pitch program, there's got to be more. And since then, um, Dr. Tari, I love you. She's like, come on, pitch class. <laughs> and yes, um, since then, I have won about 10 different pitch contests. I've uh, participated in 15, so you know you don't win them all. But I won 10 and then I've done some experience. 10 out of 15, through. Lindsay. Come on now, that's great. You know, you know. <laughs> But um, and so I just I kept going. I just kept looking for them. And I do. I actually teach uh, pitch classes. Oh, what is it again? It's the city of Houston lift off uh, business competition. Mm -hmm. So there they award three ten thousand um, dollar grants to start up businesses in Houston. But um, there's a lot. I'll say nationally, there are so many programs that want to help people who have great ideas. All you have to do is go out there, find yep. the programs and figure out how to let people know what your idea is in a constructive and clear way. Um, I do come in there because I do <laughs> pit, you know, I do pitch coaching because a lot of people have amazing ideas, but they don't have our backgrounds and they don't know how to tell other people what their idea mm -hmm. is or how it mm -hmm. works. So that's where somebody like me comes in and kind of helps you to figure out, you know, what is this idea really? Right. And how do you communicate it to investors and other people who may have the money to help you get started? Right. And I, I like because you started out with your natural skincare product, right? Mm -hmm. And that's still the, 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 you know, the passion of Camilla Lise. But you now are doing different, you know, areas of, of what Camilla Lise is. Yes. So you're now doing academies teaching women or and women and men. Um, how to start their own spa and, mm -hmm. and everything. So yeah. tell us about that. And I, I'm still trying to still bring it full circle with STEM and engineering because you were in, you know, our company that we both worked at for 10 years. Yeah. You were in supply chain. You did civil engineering. from that experience to help you now go into starting a whole curriculum academy. Yes. Um, and so with the academy, by the way, I'm teaching classes today. That's why I'm in <laughs> uniform. <laughs> but um, with the academy, I found that there are a lot of business owners, spa and just beauty related in general, because I've helped people who wanted to have a hair braiding academy and all different kinds of um, even even the cooking, someone that wanted yeah. to cook, I've helped them develop their curriculum. So um, it does all come full circle. So the Camellia Elise Academy, we do pitch classes, we do marketing and business classes, and then we do specific spa owner um, body sculpting curriculums. So we do a little bit of everything that you need to get started. Um, but I will say that having worked in the STEM industry is what really helped me to get where I am today. If I didn't have the discipline to write those 50 page training manuals and to even I'm helping write somebody else's curriculum, you know, if I didn't kind of have that focus and also learn the importance of systems, um, mm -hmm. I will say in corporate and with STEM, I always had to look back and see, OK, I can't just throw something at the wall and see if it sticks. What systems do I need to have in place? Checks and balances to say, yes, this works. It, it got this result. No, this didn't work. Um, mm -hmm. This ingredient, you know, is not what I need. So having had that background, I was able to be a little bit stronger in testing things out and figuring out the analysis part. And right. I mean, that was, that was a strength for me that I think had I not been in STEM, it would have been a lot harder, but that's mm -hmm. also why I spend so much time now trying to help other people to fill in that gap, you know, if right. they don't have our background. Right. And that's another thing, too. Not 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 everybody will go into STEM. We know that, which right. is for those that don't know science, technology, engineering, math. Um, but at the end of the day, math, you need anyway. So I will anyway, yes. <laughs> hope that uh, yeah, you, you will have some aspect of that. But it, even if you're not well versed, it's nothing wrong with reaching out to other resources that can help you. 
a financial advisor, like is you, you know, helping people with pitch, pitches and um, just reaching out to different individuals who are in that field. And that's why I, I, I'm so happy to have your part because like I said, not everybody will go down that, that road, but at least they now have a resource if they were thinking about, you know, trying to have their own academy or own skincare yes. product or whatever. Now they now have a source uh, to come And there's to. a lot of science. Like you said, math is important, right? People always think math, <laughs> they got to count their money, but there's a lot of science that goes into formulating these products um, and, you know, what works, what doesn't, you know, what's going to burn somebody's skin versus mm -hmm. what's going to heal their skin. There's a lot of science that goes into, you know, each and every product, each and every, um, you know, right. ingredient. So I need I needed a lot of that getting started. And now there's classes, you know, that are make things a little bit easier to help people formulate. But you still have to have a lot of um, a lot of research behind you. And it does take a lot of science to make to make it happen. <laughs> right. So, OK, so you stepped all the way out. You're no longer in corporate. Yeah. <laughs> We both transitioned out. I'm still working <laughs> for someone, but um, I'm happy. I like it. But no, you stepped out, and I'm so I'm so proud of you. Uh, I mean, you just have a glow Thank now. <laughs> but um, now I did right. I'm excited. Girl. <laughs> but COVID, COVID is in the room, right? Um, amongst us all, um, we're all dealing with different challenges mentally, physically, all of that. And then for the entrepreneurs out there, and even for those who may have lost their jobs or even working on the front lines. So how has this affected your business and how are you pivoting? Oh my gosh. Uh, so COVID has affected us a lot. So in the beginning, I have the academy, which is was all hands-on classes. And I have a brick and mortar spa, both of which I had to close in end of March through April. Um, we're just now starting to kind of open our doors cautiously because we still yeah. have to wear masks, temps, all of that stuff. Um, but it affected me a lot. Um, I did spend a lot of time pivoting more towards um, the product and doing virtual classes, setting up the virtual platform. So I had to move a little bit quickly for that. Also, I was blessed that I had one of my products is a aloe heavy product. So I had like 60 pounds of aloe in inventory oh, wow. and I started manufacturing hand sanitizer. I was like, what is it that people need right now? Mm -hmm. So we, we pivoted, we started making hand sanitizer and through the month of April and May, like that was my number one selling product. Yeah. So um, I, I have definitely had to pivot, but I will say that the community has rallied around us. Like the support has been amazing and we are still doing well. Now, in addition to that, um, I have in turn helped others. We started a, a COVID scholarship program. Wow. Oh, we, we got that. two, we have two scholarship recipients who are at our school now. Um, one of them is on her way in. Okay. Um, so we, we gave out some scholarships um, and we started working on different like payment plans and things to help people because we understand that everyone like now is a good time right people have lost their jobs and they want to start their career but they may not have everything they need up front to get started mm -hmm. so our pivot has also become you know how can we help others in the community around us who do need you know to start a new career or to start their own skincare company so we i've spent a lot of time helping others as well so it's been a blessing no, I mean, that's awesome. I didn't know that. So that's, yeah, you're going to have to leave your information because I'm sure people are going to, you know, be inquiring about it, the scholarship information. So um, we have 2020 grads, you know, yeah. they're kind of, I can't even imagine what they're thinking, what they're feeling. You know, some of them had jobs that were lined up or what what advice would you give them? Um, I know that you just mentioned that you're doing a lot in the community, but what advice would you give to the 2020 grad who, you know, they thought they were going to be this bioengineer or whatever? And I just, what, 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 what would you tell? Yeah. yeah. 
So um, the first thing I would say is take a deep breath <laughs> and don't give up hope. I mean, it's the same to me. It's just like what happened to me when I got laid off. Like I was an engineer for a year and then they were like, okay, we don't have any work. And I'm like, what? This isn't right. supposed to happen. Um, but I took the time to try something new. I went and worked at a spa. People thought I was crazy, but, you know, look at what it brought. So I always say kind of tap into um, mm -hmm. getting to know yourself a little bit, take care of yourself and try to figure out, you know, what you can do in the interim, because you may not be able to get that, you know, bioengineering degree. I mean, um, bioengineering job that mm -hmm. you were counting on. But what other things right now can you put your energy into mm -hmm. that later when you're full, like busy, 60 hour work weeks, <laughs> you won't be able to do, you know, what are some of those things that you can do now that you won't be able to do when you're just like full time at it. So that's kind of one of the things I've been counseling people on. Like, I understand that, you know, it's hard, but what can you do with this time and this energy that you may never have later, you know, right. you may never have this time later. No, that that is excellent advice. Cause I took, I, I mean, I, I LinkedIn. I think now more than ever is being utilized. Yes. And I don't know about you, but I'm getting a lot of messages. You yes. know, inboxes on. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know, what do I do? Can you help me? You know, can I talk with you for a few minutes just to you know get some insights? So, uh, yeah, definitely use your resources again. Um, LinkedIn is a is a great source as well. I agree. I, I LinkedIn, yes, lately, I will say people have just been, <laughs> they have been on LinkedIn. Um, and of course, I get a lot of messages through Instagram. Um, but you know, one thing when you asked me about the pivot, I didn't talk about we actually started on Wednesdays, wine and wellness Wednesday. Yes, yes. So I had never done that before. But it's skincare, self care and everything in between. So that's also where I've been like, okay, let me go out there and see what kind of questions people have and how I can give others tips on self-care. Mm -hmm. So that's been something new as well. Um, and it's working out well. You know, we grab our glass of wine and have a quick conversation, you know, <laughs> answer some questions, kind of, you know, making sure that people have what they need. So between LinkedIn and Instagram, yeah. it's keeping me busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm I, I'm wearing your. Let's talk about this. I, I did a little quick video, oh. <laughs> but uh, let's talk about this firm up cream. I have I have it on now. <laughs> how are, look? How are you feeling with it on, girl? Yeah, it's it's tingling. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wish. I mean, like I said, I, I hurt my my muscle. Y'all, I'm dying because I can't exercise. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to find different things I can do that's not gonna yes. kill me. But uh, so I was like, well, let me put this, let me put this on. At least it'll feel like my stomach is <laughs> yes. being firmed up. So uh, talk about the firm up. Yeah, so um, Firm Up is our cellulite cream. It's a seaweed and aloe based product. So it's made to help uh, constrict and smooth out your skin. Mm -hmm. um, it does have a, a, a nice tingling feeling. It has an activated menthol oil. Mm -hmm. So that's where that, a lot of that tingling comes in. It opens up your pores. Um, and that's our number one selling product. Like It does. Like, it, like you can just even inhale it and it just, it does. And it's got an icy hot kind of effect to it. So it feels cool and then it, it, it warms Can I put this on my, can I put this you on can. my? You can. I was just about to tell you, it might actually help with your back a little bit. Oh, Lord. I think Lexi on the, yeah, child. Oh, gosh. Anyway. <laughs> y'all check out. So t tell, um, you got a lot of information. So I want people to make sure. Let's start off with Camille Elise, the product then your uh, academy where they can find you. Yeah, just, let's just roll through all your accolade on where they can yes, connect with yes. you. So now, of course, you can just go to our website and I'll type it in real quick, but you can go to www.camelliaelise.com and it will give you spa services, products, and academy. So everything is all housed under that one website. But um, we have the natural skincare products for facial care, um, cellulite and then for razor bumps so those mm -hmm. are our uh, products and then the academy like I was saying the Camellia Elise Academy is all about helping um, spa owners to launch their spas um, to help small business owners with their pitches and marketing 
and to help you have the tools that you need to be successful in whichever industry you're trying to launch in. And then we have the brick and mortar spa. Yeah. We're located in a third ward here. Third Houston. ward is, I see some more business owners in third ward, Dr. Richmond, y'all third ward. Yes. 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 I'm so, trying to get there. <laughs> so, I, you know, our spa is right here as well. We love, you know, we love helping to service clients. So we're right here in third ward. Yeah. Yeah. So listen for our viewers. If, if um, you're able, well, I ask that you share um, this to a young lady who may be thinking about or, you know, contemplating on what they want to do. Um, it's always great, I feel, for especially us as women to um, do what we love. Do your, you know, have your passion when you eat for those that have kids or even don't. When the kids leave, what do you, what, you know, you need to have something for you. Um, and not just that, always having a plan B. Um, yes. Because, y'all, during this time, you see, this is a prime example yeah. of of what can happen with, with employers and whatnot. And, and granted, I was blessed to able to be able to find another um, employer, but I'm still doing what I love too, which is That's in the good. realm of, of fashion. And I have a brand called Fitty Wrap, so yeah. you can go to. I'll put that in the link too. So because I love the exercise, I was thinking like, what can what can I do to still be cute and yeah. have your hair? And it's not just for fitness. I mean, you can sleep in it, whatever the case may be, but. Which that just goes back, right? That just goes back to what you're saying. You know, find different ways on what, what things that you love, and how can you help others? And if you guys are getting questions from individuals asking you, "Oh, where did you get this?" or you know, and you made it, or you you're creating it, then that might be a sign that maybe you need to <laughs> think about selling it or marketing, you know, some way, form, or fashion. So. I just want to thank you for spending a few minutes of your time this morning Yay. to share your story. Um, Lindsay, you know I love you. We, we talk, and yes. your talks thank have you. always been encouraging, especially when we both had our, our moments. So yes. um, I don't know if you guys have any questions. Uh, we have about uh, yeah, four minutes left or so. But um, Lindsay um, dropped her information there, and this – oh, Thank you, Karad. Well, I need, my, I need to order my pretty wrap, by the way. So I'll, I'll see, yes, I'll see I your pretty wrap. <laughs> uh, but no, so if there's no questions, uh, well, guys, as, as we say, you know, in our meetings, I'll give you three minutes back in your day. Um, <laughs> but thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to share, Lindsay, before we go? Or? Um, I would just say kind of like to wrap it all up, like we said before, just um, – I know that things are hard right now, but I just want everybody to stay encouraged and mm -hmm. look at the positivity in the moment because I see more people right now walking with their families and doing things that they hadn't been doing. So look at the positive and um, just stay safe. Yeah, stay safe. All right, guys, you guys have a great Saturday. Thank you all for tuning in and see you next time on Gostume Style Chat. Bye-bye. <laughs>